Hello all. Welcome to another video solution by Code Runner. In this video, we will be looking at the zigzag conversion problem on LeetCode and this video will provide you with the C++ solution of this problem. I have also made a video for the Python solution of this problem and if you are more comfortable with Python, then you can go ahead and find that video linked in the description box. Also, I request you to please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates about exciting problems and their solution. So, without wasting any time, let's proceed to this problem. In this problem we are given a string s which can consist of just uppercase and lowercase letters, comma and full stops. We are supposed to represent this string in a zigzag format in a matrix and then print that matrix row wise. With the input string s, we are also have an input of the number of rows this matrix should have. For example, consider the string PayPal is hiring. Let the number of rows are equal to 3. We start with the first letter of the string s which is p and store it in the first row and first column of the matrix. Then we shift to the second row and store the second character of the input string which is a. After this we shift to the next and the final row and store the letter Y in the first column of the third row. As the number of rows are 3, now we start moving upwards, shift one column right and store the next letter, which is P in the second row. We continue the same steps over and over again until the entire string has been accommodated in the matrix. This, if you look closely, leads us to a zigzag pattern. As an output of the function, we are supposed to do the following. Once the matrix has been made, we have to start iterating over it from the top row and print the values in the list of list or matrix row wise. That is, the first four letters in the output would be P, A, N, and H. Now, we move to the next row and store the letters in the second row. Finally, we move to the last and the final row and print the values in this row. I hope by now, the problem is clear to you. Even if it is not clear, just hang in there I'll be explaining that in the code part with an example too. Now, let's head over to the C++ solution and see how we are going to solve this problem. Throughout the code explanation part, I'll be considering the input sample, PayPal is hiring. First, we just check the base conditions. If the number of rows were 1, that is, the input string s was supposed to be projected into one row as shown in the comment, we can directly return the original string itself. Similarly, we can do the same if the number of rows were greater than or equal to the number of letters in the input string. This is also shown in the comment here and I hope this is clear to you. Now, we will move ahead and start storing the characters in the input string in a matrix form. We define a variable delta which will keep track of the direction we are moving in row wise. That is, either we move down or we will move up. We denote plus 1 as moving down in the matrix and minus 1 as moving up. Then we declare a row variable which will store the row number we are currently in and where the current character is to append it. Finally, we declare a vector which has the number of row equal to num rows. After all the variable declaration, we start with our iteration over the characters in the input string s. Initially, the value of row is 0 so we append the first character, which is p in the first row of the matrix as shown in the diagram. Now, we apply a check over the row number we are currently at. This is done to change the direction we are moving row-wise. If we are currently at the bottom most row, we have to switch the direction and start moving upwards. If we are at the uppermost row, we have to switch the direction again and now start moving downwards. This is what this check of the if statement will do for us. If the row number was 0 or the last row, we switch the direction. Here, understand that the value in the variable delta can either be minus 1 or plus 1. If the value was plus 1, that is, we were moving down, we increment the row numbers by 1. In the other case, 
That is, if the value of delta was minus 1, we decrease the row number by 1 and move upwards. Once we are out of the for loop and done with our scan over the input string, we will get the vectors or list of lists as shown in this figure. Now, we simply iterate over this vector and collect the characters one by one to get the final output. That is it. Great job and we are done with the solution. Let's try to run it and see if it works or not. And there you go. The solution has been accepted. I hope you liked the solution. If you did, then please hit the like button and press the bell icon to stay updated about the latest problems and their solution on lead code. Bye for now. Happy coding and I'll see you next time with another exciting problem and its solution.